So in order to change the background on your Zoom meetings, it's actually very simple. So the first thing we're going to do is load up a meeting just for the sake of this video. So as you can see, I'm currently using my normal background. So to change this, you want to click on this up arrow just next to the video icon and select choose virtual background. A pop-up window will appear and you just want to select the background you like the most. And once you've done this, you want to close the pop-up window and continue with your meeting. Now the problem with these backgrounds is that they're not very realistic and they don't really suit the situation very well. So we need to change this. So you want to go to shutterstock.com and there will be a link in the description. From here you want to create an account and start your free trial. Now Shutterstock is where you can access hundreds of thousands of high quality professional images and you can also use them in your Zoom meetings. So once you've created your account, you want to search for an image that's a bit more suitable for your Zoom meeting. So in this case we're going to search for an image that looks like an office. And as you can see there's loads of images to choose from, so you just want to select one that you prefer. And once you've found an image you like, you want to select this download button. However, if your free trial has ended or you don't have any subscription, you want to click on this little try button underneath the image and this will download it. However, it's going to download the image with the watermark. So as you can see, I've downloaded the image to my desktop and we just need to use it for our Zoom meeting. And to do this, you want to go back to your virtual backgrounds and then click on the plus button and select add image. Then want to select the background you've just downloaded and open it up. And as you can see, it's going to use it as your Zoom background straight away. Now, as I mentioned before, it does come with the watermarks. So if you don't want these watermarks on your background, you will need to sign up for the free trial or purchase the Shutterstock subscription where you can download 10 free images every month. And that is all you need to do to change your Zoom background image. So if this video was helpful, please leave a like and pass it on to one of me if I'd helpful as well. You can always support the channel by donating a coffee with the link below. Thank you for watching and have a good day.